So this is part one of the video series on problems on graphs of linear equations in two variables. This first problem is, you know that the force applied on a body is directly proportional to the acceleration produced in the body. Write an equation to express this situation and plot the graph of the equation. Now first let's bring our graph here. So it's our graph and we have the x axis and the y axis and we have these numbers plotted on both of these axes. Now it's saying that you know that the force applied on a body is directly proportional to the acceleration produced in the body. If this is our body, if this is our body, let's say its mass is m. So if a constant force is applied on it and if it moves by an acceleration of a okay so we know that it's actually equal to force is equal to mass into acceleration we know this but here it's saying that so from this equation we can say that f is directly proportional to the acceleration so if f is directly proportional to acceleration then from the property of uh, ratio and proportion we can say that this f is actually equal to k f is equal to k a right what's k k is our constant k is our constant so if you relate this f is equal to k a from this one it's actually this k is actually what mass the mass of the body it's the mass of the body that is equal to k when you write it as f is equal to k a right so k is actually equal to the mass of the body so that's what it is saying so if we take the equation in general as f is equal to k a right or f is equal to m a where k and m are both the same thing that both are constants but here we don't have this value of the value of this constant you don't know about this k or let's see the mass so without that it will be difficult to plot the graph of this equation. Let's say that we want to pl plot the force F on Y axis. So this Y axis represents the force and this acceleration, we have plotted the values of acceleration on this X axis, okay? So Y axis is for force and X axis is, is for acceleration, okay? So that makes this equation as y is equal to k x y is equal to k x remember k is the constant that is actually equal to the mass of the body that is actually equal to the mass of the body now this y is equal to k x you cannot plot the graph until you know what's the value of k now since we have not been given the value of k Let's assume that it's y is equal to k is actually equal to, let's say that 3, or k is equal to 4, or k is equal to 5, whatever value you want to take. Let's take k is equal to 3. Let's take k is equal to 3. So from here, you can write it as y is equal to 3x. Okay, so our equation is this. <clears throat> the first thing you have to do, whenever you are plotting the graph of a linear equation in two variables, always check for zero that is what will happen to this graph or how will your line from where will your line pass through when you put x is equal to zero now when you put this x is equal to zero then it is actually y is equal to three multiplied by zero that is y is equal to zero y is equal to zero it means that it means that 0 comma 0 is the solution of this linear equation in two variables. Now you should know how to find the solutions of a linear equation in two variables. We have discussed this in detail. The video link of the tutorial is given in the description box below. That is how to find the solutions of linear equations in two variables and what do we mean by the solutions of a linear equation in two variables. Watch that. So when you put x is equal to 0, your y comes as 0. It means that 0, 0 is the solution of this linear equation in two variables. It means that when your x is 0, your y is 0. Therefore, 
this should be the point where x is also equal to 0 and y is also equal to 0. This is the point where x is 0 and y is also equal to 0. So one thing is clear. This the line in this uh, for this equation will pass through this origin of this x axis and y axis, right? So it will pass from here. And we also know that in order to draw a line, we should know at least two points. So one point is this one, 0 comma 0. Let's find another point. Now, in order to find another point, let's do one thing. Put x is x equal to, let's say, let's put x equal to 2. So when you put x equal to 2, this y is equal to 3 multiplied by 2 becomes y is equal to 6. Right? So y is equal to 6. So 2 comma 6 is another solution of this linear equation in two values and that's why this is 2 and this is 6. So the point will be here. This is the point 2 comma 6. So let's draw the line connecting these two points. Oops. Okay. So it's not perfect. Okay. So this is our line. This is our line. I just wanted to draw it straight. Okay. The point is that this is a, a straight line which passes from this that is 0, that is the origin of this x axis and y axis, and this is the point 2, comma 6, that is 2, 6. When x is equal to 2, y is equal to 6. This is the point. This is 6, this is 2. So 2, comma 6 is a point. So we have two points. So we connect these two points and we get a straight line, right? Now, what uh, do we mean by the passing of this line in this, you know, when the value of the x axis is negative and the value, sorry, the, when the value of y axis is negative and the value of x axis is also negative, you learn all these things when you'll move to higher standards, higher grades. So as of now, just know one thing that whenever you are dealing with a, a equation that is of the form y is equal to kx, y is equal to kx as in this example, your line will always pass through the origin. Okay, so one point will be 0 comma 0. You have to just find the another point so that you can draw the line for that particular equation. Okay, so in this example, this is one point and this is another point. This is a straight line which will pass from here. We'll take one more example. We'll take one more example. And let's say, uh, sorry, so this is our second problem. If the work done by a body on application of a constant force is directly proportional to the distance traveled by the body, express this in the form of an equation in two variables and draw the graph of the same by taking the constant force as five units. Okay, this five units is very important. And why? So let's say that this is our body. Okay, and when you up, when we applied a constant force F, and this body moved from this position to this position, right? So it moved from this position to this position, and it actually traveled the distance of D. This is a force. Now we know that. The work done is work done is actually given by uh, work done is actually given by work is equal to force multiplied by this distance traveled. Actually, it is displacement. When you will move to higher standards or grades, you learn that it's actually the displacement. Okay. So for your grade, uh, for this grade, just remember it's actual distance. So work done is equal to force multiplied by distance. It means that actually it's saying that work is directly proportional, work done is directly proportional to the distance traveled by the body. So from here, we can write it as W is equal to KD. 
K is the constant. And what's that constant? Constant is that constant force. Constant is that constant force, which is applied on this body and due to which the body moved from this position to this position. Now, here, it's given that when you have, when you draw this graph, then you have to take this constant force as five units. This is given here, which was not given in our previous question. We are not aware of, you know, the mass of the body. But in this case, we know this constant is actually equal to five units. You have to take five units. Okay. And that makes it easier. Now, it means that if we take, if we plot this work done on the y axis and k is our five units and distance traveled by the body is on the x axis, then our equation is actually y is equal to 5x. Now, again, when your x is zero, then your y is zero. It's of the form y is equal to kx and as we discussed earlier in our earlier problem that, that whenever you are dealing with this type of equation that is y is equal to kx where k is the cons is a constant then your line will always pass through this origin that is this one okay so we have one solution or the point what about another one let's take for y x is equal to 1 so what will happen when x is equal to 1? Your y is equal to 5. Now let's plot this one. 1, 5. This is 1 and this is 5 on the y-axis. So our point is here. Let's connect this. Oh, sorry. So it's something like this. Okay, I need to extend this. Okay, so this is a line that passes from this origin of this uh, x axis and y axis, and this is the point 1, 5. Right? Again, this line is passing from this origin, and the thing is. Whenever you are dealing with this situation, you'll always get a linear, uh, sorry, the line that will pass from this origin. 